Hi, everybody. Oh, nothing like starting a day out with kisses. Yep, it is time for the Willow Report. And that was almost an on-cue kiss because we're talking about love, animals and love. I know lately I've talked about all the naughty things Miss Willow does, but I want, want to talk about how you need a mood enhancer. You need somebody to make you feel good and loved. The unconditional love of a dog that everybody talks about is true. Now, I know there's cat people out there, and cats are the same, only completely different. But the comfort that they give you is amazing. So those of you who just, like, think you're missing a little something in your life, go to a shelter, adopt a dog, a kitty, a hamster. I promise, especially if you're one going, oh, you have to walk them. Yeah, you do. You get to walk them. And then you get to meet neighbors, and you get to get outside and get exercise. You know, or even the cat, oh, cats are less bad. Yeah, they give you love. They purr. They tail up to you. Um, I can't tell you, like, if, say, um, if somebody, my husband's in a bad mood. Say he's cranky about whatever my husband's get cranky about. Um, one look from this little puppy changes his whole mood completely, completely. I, I, I haven't thought about it to that extent, but we were walking the other day and we have an elderly neighbor around the corner. And I think they're, you know, they're alone. You know, you get to an age sometimes that all everybody you know has died off. And there's a lot of people like that. Their spouses, their lovers, their family members. And they're there and they're taken care of. But they were they sit on their porch all the time and they're and they're just kind of high and they talk. All, for the first time, I I came in and sat with her for a minute, and Willow got all over her. The light in her face, her eyes lit up, her face lit up. She started, her little hands started to pet this little Willow, and you just saw the love and comfort that, and Willow was so excited by this woman, you know, because Willow's excited by everything, and the change in this woman was just like, Wow, this is what love is. Real love and kisses, unconditional love. So if you do have a dog, or well, actually we have a neighbor who walks their cat every day. They have this little bubble. Um, it's so cute. It's like a backpack, but it's a cat bubble. It looks like, like a helmet, a space helmet. Every day the cat goes around, gets to talk to everybody. Not all cats will do that. But if you have a cat that will, or walk on a leash, take it out. But if you have a dog, and you have maybe some neighbors that might need a little good love and attention, why don't you take them to go visit him? Um, you know, t you will be surprised and see what the magic they have in them. I know a lot of people do, oh, we go to hospitals, which is a great thing. I even know people at LAX, there's always people bringing their dogs to soothe people before they get on an airplane. I've seen more and more of that again these days. Um, and it's great. Go to hospitals, become, but that you takes a special kind of a dog to become a service dog of some sort. But if you have people in your neighborhood, in your apartment building, right around the corner, let them experience a the love of your puppy. Maybe they don't have one. So this just had to be about love, not how naughty Willow was, because she's perfect. And she's worth every chewed up shoe, every chewed up paper every bark, every oops, accident, missed the PP pad. Because she's love, pure love. So short and sweet again. It's a short and sweet day. That's the Willow Report. Go hug your fur baby or non-fur baby or whatever you have. One day I'm going to have you not pulled right out of sleep so you're not yawning this whole time. Okay? No. Anyway, love, just love. That's the Willow Report.